Alley is a community platform that helps creators connect with like-minded people and develop lifetime meaningful relationships. I'm Jason Saltzman, the CEO and founder of Alley. My experience with startups over the past 15 years has given me the unique opportunity to connect with the brightest founders in the world. One thing always remains constant, the unbelievable knowledge we get from each other by sharing our stories. Join us while we learn from founders what it is really like to start a business, the hurdles they have overcome, and the lessons they've learned along the way. This is Resilience. Hey everybody, my name is Louis Balazni. I'm the managing director of a company called Botkeeper based in Boston. We are a blend of automation and skilled human accountants to automate your day-to-day -day bookkeeping for half the cost of what you find on the market and for 24 seven and with all this awesome financial output. Super awesome. If you could pick the craziest shit that's happened to you that really sticks out, because I, I, I wanna dive in on that. Uh, but I think, I think really a lot of it was like I come from a stereotypical Russian Jewish background okay. and so I was born here so I'm I'm an American but you know their sort of vision of what the kids were meant to be was like you know the sort of norm like be a doctor be a lawyer be an accountant uh, got my got my bachelor's did a lot of entrepreneurship studies and management studies was working as a personal trainer full-time mm -hmm. finishing up school and like some odd jobs here and there and then I didn't really know what to do after that. And I knew a bunch of folks that were kind of persuading me to look at law school and look at a JD as like a, a, a different route or a different perspective sure. towards an MBA. You know, you can still learn about business, but yeah. you know, a JD is not a bad thing to have. So like my folks are super psyched. They were like, yeah, our kid's gonna be a lawyer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I went to law school and I was like, this fucking sucks. <laughs> right. But it just it wasn't vibing, right? So when I got out, I actually never took the bar. And that was kind of a huge like disappointment to my folks. They were like, fuck, you got so close. And I got into insurance sales, okay. which is so backwards, right? Yeah, okay. But I was just kind of scrappy for a few months, like learning the business in the industry. And I ended up working for Tom Brady's dad. Uh, I did that for a, for a bit and then snagged a role. I did that for about three years and helped build them out. And I was working for a bank after that. And the bank part was like super like more glamorous, right? Cool title, cool bank, yes. like all these perks and like junior vice president of you know bean counting. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. But it was a, you know it was a cool, cool newer bank. Like it was a spin on like this kind of high end retail banking, very like concierge approach, which I like. But again, banks are just always kind of the same. Yep. You know, so you have your own flair and that stuff that we brought. But and this is a long story going back to what you're talking about, kind of the shitty part. But uh, about two years ago, a little over, a little over two years ago, they let me go. So that was like a total shock to the ego, to pride, everything, right? Like you have everything kind of set, you could save money and all that stuff. And when, so I met my, my partner Enrico, actually a few, like a few months into working at Brady, he was like one of the first people I ever met. Mm -hmm. I just had this good relationship with him over the years and just kind of connected. But we'd been kind of, he'd been plotting out this sort of notion of what we were going to do over, over, you know, a little bit and was kind of like picking my brain about it. But I went head in, right? It was sort of the right place, right time, even though everything kind of sucked. And I like didn't know what I was gonna do for cash. Mm -hmm. I wasn't sure like where stuff was coming from. This is a brand new concept. We weren't looking to raise money. We were totally bootstrapping this. Yeah. And so it was one of those like pride moments where I was like, fuck, I gotta find ways to make some side money. Yeah, okay. And it was almost like being a scrappy when I was like 16 or 17 where you work like four or five jobs. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. So no I was doubt. like Airbnb being my place as much as I could and yeah. like crashing on people's couches yeah. or just like you know, not going home or like, maybe I won't say that I was like staying at WeWork sometimes. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I get it. And then like Ubering sleeping, and shit. You were sleeping in your shared space. And then like getting a car to Uber, yeah, right? So it was yeah. like nights where it's like, you wake up at So four. you were driving an Uber. Hold yep. on, let me back up for a second. Let me unwrap this. So here you are, you, are, you're, you're, you get laid off, you have an idea, you want to execute it, you don't know how you're going to make money, so you yep. side hustle the shit out of your life. Totally. You get an Uber car, you start renting your house, on, you rent, rent, renting your apartment on Airbnb, you sleep in your co-working space to save money so you can Airbnb your space, yeah. and you're working on your project to get to product market fit. Oh, yeah. And your parents probably fucking hate you at this point. <laughs> all right. They think I'm an idiot. All right. 100%. All right. All right. But. Uh, uh, and, and you have a, a basically a law degree. <laughs> like, and you're doing, and they're like, why aren't you being a lawyer? 100%. And you're basically saying, screw this. 
I'm going to do what I want. Yeah. And I'm going to I'm going to pay my dues in order to do that. Totally. You have uh, to, right? Like and I yeah. just I've always seen that like nothing's nothing's ever given to you. Yeah. And like as much as my parents thought I was an idiot, they were still like incredibly supportive, right? Like yeah, yeah, they were yeah, just yeah, like yeah. we don't really know why you're doing this. Like yeah. why are you so uncomfortable? But like if you're actually happy and the irony of all that is I was, right? Cuz like this right. whole sort of struggle and like going back and whatever other like term you want to label it is like a cool perspective thing for me about evolution, right? And I think people are like kind of like their brains and our like our brains are just kind of wired to do things like shortcut wise as quickly as possible. But like if you can consciously flip a switch and be like, no, like the brain's about like learning more and constantly like feeding, right? And like picking up all this new shit and that comes by doing like things you would never imagine. Mm -hmm. Like it's so beautiful. So as much as like all of this stuff was a struggle, like I fucking love doing Uber rides because I met some people who, yeah. I met some like, you know, boring, like, idiot people and had, like, very default convos, naturally. Yeah. But some people got in the car and they were like, oh, fuck, like, I'm doing the same thing. Like, I'm actually going to my office right now. Yeah, Or, yeah. like, I'm this accountant, but I have this side idea. Yeah, And yeah. I met some really, really cool people. Yeah, yeah, sure. And, like, have these relationships on an ongoing basis yeah. still, like, and it was like, wow, all right, cool. Like, that's kind of, like, solidifying my perspective. It's nice. Yeah. You know? I love how you made an opportunity out of the things that were kind of being sort of negative in a way, you know, at, yeah. on the outset, like it, it's it, it, to, towards the, to the outset, to the outside world, you're, you got fired and you had to get a bunch of jobs to make shit work. But you sat and you're like, I'm not only going to drive this Uber, I'm going to make connections out of it. Yeah. And that's like a big lesson. You know, that's like a really big lesson to kind of like find the beauty and the obstacles that we faced. Yeah. So the website is just www.botkeeper.com. Uh, there's a ton of info on it. Um, I'm around Boston a ton. I'll probably see you at some event if you're kind of running the networking scene or just trying to like hit some cool stuff. I'm usually there. I, I love doing that. Yeah. I mean, I really make it a focus every week to do like three or four events if I can. Oh, it's awesome. So thank you so much for coming yeah. on. Jason, my pleasure, man. Thanks awesome. for having me. Have another tip before we leave? Yeah, go ahead. Tip go your ahead. Uber driver, guys, because you don't know their story. <laughs> tip your Uber driver. Even if it's two bucks, man, it means so much. Tip your Uber driver and sleep in your co-working space. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, everybody.